So if you have an impact or multiple impacts along the lines of Tunguska, it's likely that the ozone layer is going to be dramatically affected, allowing greater bombardment of cosmic rays. So there's a whole set of secondary phenomena here that we need to also be looking at. The astronomers looked at Shoemaker-Levy 9 and were then able to project into the future and determine that a year hence that this was going to strike Jupiter. In a way, they were like prophets of old. There is going to be, in 2029, there's going to be a near miss between Earth and an asteroid. The question is, is will that asteroid then come back to, just like with Shoemaker leaving nine? The, the gravity field of Jupiter drew it ever, every orbit around, it drew that object, that comet, in closer, right? The question is, is, is this the occurrence of the 2029 object going to undergo a similar process. Once we've determined with a high degree of precision, the orbital elements, that's what you call the orbital elements of any orbiting object, whether it's a comet or whether it's an asteroid or whatever, you can now make predictions with a high degree of accuracy as to where they're going to be and when they're going to be there.